In this video, we're going to look at how to draw pie charts from given data. In this example, we're given that 30 children in a class were asked for their favourite type of pet. 16 of them said dogs, 6 said cats, 3 said fish, and the remaining 5 said other animals, which we've grouped together as other. We need to draw a pie chart to show this information. We're told in the question that there are 30 children, so that's our total frequency. And let's just double check, 16, add 6, add 3, add 5 does indeed equal 30. We know that there are 360 degrees in a circle, so each child is going to be worth 360 divided by this total frequency of 30, which equals 12 degrees. Now to work out the size of each sector or each slice of the pie chart, we can take the frequency and multiply it by this 12. So there are 16 children who like dogs. Each of them is 12 degrees, so 16 times 12 is 192 degrees. For the cats, we're going to do 6 times 12 is 72 degrees. For fish, it's 3 times 12 is 36 degrees. And for other, 5 times 12 equals 60 degrees. It's always a good idea at this point just to add up those angles that we've just calculated and make sure they make 360 degrees, which these ones do. Once we've got our angles, we can start adding them to the pie chart. So on the right, you can see my circle ready to put the pie chart on. We start off by drawing a straight line from the center to the edge of the circle. I've drawn a vertical line going upwards. Doesn't really matter, but we're gonna have a starting line and we're gonna measure our first angle from that line. So our first angle is 192 degrees for the dog. We measure that round from the line. It will end up looking something like this. If you're using a 180 degree protractor, 192 degrees is a little bit tricky, but just remember you can either draw a straight line all the way down for your 180 and add on the further 12 degrees to make the 192, or you can measure the other side of the angle if we do 360 degrees minus 192, either way, we've got our first slice. We then measure from the last line that we drew. 72 degrees is our second slice. Measure that in, there is the cat slice. We measure another 36 degrees round, there's the fish slice. Now we've only got one more slice left, this is a 60 degree slice. It's always a good idea now just to check with the protractor that you've got 60 degrees left and you haven't made any mistakes as you've gone round. Once you're happy that all the angles have been drawn correctly, you can color in your pie chart and then add a key to it so that people know which slice is which. So looking at the key to the bottom of my pie chart there, we can see that blue is the dog slice, red is for cats, green for fish and yellow for other. And there we go, there's the pie chart of our data. Let's try a slightly trickier one now. So in this one, the color of each car in a car park is recorded in the table. We want to draw a pie chart. So the first thing to do is to find the total frequency, the total number of cars in our data. So we're gonna add the frequencies together, 21, 13, 26, eight, 14, and six, that equals 88. So each car is going to be 360 degrees divided by 88, which is 4.09 to two decimal places. We're now going to do the same thing as before. So if each car is 4.09, red there are 21 cars. So we'll do 21 times 4.09, which equals 85.9. I've rounded this second bit here just to the one decimal place because we can't get any more accurate than that with a protractor. So there's no point putting more than one decimal place in there. Blue is going to be 13 times 4.09, it's 53.2 degrees. And I'm working our way through, we get that silver is 106.3, white is 32.7, black is 57.3, and other is 24.5. So again, we're going to add all those together just to check what the total is. So the total has come to 359.9 degrees, but we don't need to worry, that's not quite 360 degrees, that's just our rounding errors coming in. And as I said, 0.1 of a degree, can't quite measure that accurately with a normal protractor. So our drawing should still be accurate enough if we use the values that we've worked out. 
We then measure our first slice on there, so 85.9 degrees for the red cars. Measuring around from the top, there's our first slice. We then continue measuring round. So from the end of the red sector, we measure 53.2 degrees. There's our blue one, then the 106.3 and so on. And then just checking that last slice to make sure it does equal 24.5 degrees. And then we've measured them all correctly. We then color in each sector and add the key so that people know which sector is which. And there we go, our completed pie chart. So there we have it. To convert data into a pie chart, we simply add the separate frequencies together to find the total frequency, the total number of items that we've been recording. We divide 360 degrees by the total frequency to find out how many degrees per item. We then multiply this answer that we've just found by each separate frequency to find the size of each sector. Then measure the angles onto the circle, starting each new sector from the end of the previous one. And finally, colour in the pie chart and add a key so that people know which sector represents which. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.